Hello everybody, we are over here with the MCQs in the chapter quadratic equation. So let's start with it. So try doing this quadratic equation and find the values of x over here. So this is a typical type of question. You can say a tricky question which can be asked in the examination. So over here you don't need to actually simplify. Suppose you will take the LCM over here and you will do all of those things. You will never get an answer. I mean you can get but it will take time unnecessarily. So what is the trick? The trick is you take it on the left hand side. The 1 by x expression, the variable expression, you take it on the left hand side and then if you simplify, you see it is 1 by a plus b plus x. So if you will do like this, it will save your time and you will be able to do it quickly. Just take LCM guys, you will get minus a minus b minus x and in the denominator, it is x into a plus b plus x over here. I hope it is clear up till here. So this is a plus b upon a b. So over here you see x and x will get cancelled out. Now I can take minus 1 as common. So a plus b will be left. And in the denominator can I multiply like this? I can write ax plus bx plus x square. And this is nothing but equal to a plus b by a b. So you see over here can I cancel out a plus b as well? And then can I cross multiply? So I'll get minus AB that is equal to AX plus BX plus X square. Now what I can do, I can take it on this side and I can write it in the, stand, the actual form, in the standard form which you call. So I can write it X square plus AX plus BX plus AB that is equal to 0. So you see we can make two groups over here like this, yes or no? So out of the first group, I can take x as common. So x plus a will be left. Out of the second group, I can take b as common. So again, x plus a will be left and that is equal to 0. I hope it is clear. Now out of the whole expression, you can take x plus a as common. Suppose over here I'm showing. You can take x plus a as common. Clear? So you will be left with x plus b and that is equal to 0. So can I not say that the two roots of this quadratic equation are minus a and minus b? So like this you can do questions of this form. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question over here. So the value of k for which the quadratic equation this is having two real and equal roots. So one of the most important type of questions equal roots. For sure you will get a question on the basis of this concept. So for equal roots, what is the condition guys? That is discriminant is equal to 0. Now what is the discriminant for a quadratic equation? It is b square minus 4ac that is equal to 0. Clear? Now what is b over here? b is the coefficient of x. So this is b, right? So 2 into k plus 1 the whole square minus 4ac. So a over here is the coefficient of x square that is k plus 1 and c is the constant term that is 1 and that is equal to 0. Now you see this is nothing but 4 into k plus 1 the whole square minus 4 into k plus 1. Yes or no? Now out of the whole expression in the left hand side, can I take 4 into k plus 1 as common guys? So we will be left with k plus 1 minus 1 over here, right? And that is equal to 0. So can I say this will get cancelled out? So we can write it like this 4 into k plus 1 into k that is equal to 0. So the two roots, two values of k, they are minus 1 and 0. Now the question is are both, these, both of these values going to work? The answer is no. You see you cannot take k is equal to minus 1. If you will put k is equal to minus 1 over here, the coefficient of x square will become equal to 0. And you know that in a quadratic equation, the coefficient of x square cannot become equal to 0. Therefore, you will neglect this value. Yes. So therefore, you will take k is equal to 0 and that is the answer. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question. You have to solve this quadratic equation. See, you can solve this using the quadratic formula or the factorization method. It is all up to you. See, I am over here to take typology of questions. You are already aware of the syllabus and all those things. Obviously, you are going to have exams after some time, right? So you can just simplify over here, you'll get the answer. So over here, if you open up the bracket, can I use a minus b, the whole square formula? So can I write x square minus 2x plus 1 
and this I can open so I'll get minus 5x plus 5 minus 6 is equal to 0. So if you further simplify what will you get x square minus 2x minus 5x that will give you minus 7x right and you see this is minus 1 over here this is nothing but minus 1 this is plus 1 so it will be 0. So this is the simplified format of it right. So I can take x as common so x minus 7 will be left. Now you can see two roots of this quadratic equation are 0 comma 7. So the answer is 0 comma 7. So see many a times what happens is you see a quadratic equation and you feel that it's very complex but you see if you simplify you're getting a very simple thing over here. So let us take the next problem over here a word problem a simple word problem which can come in MCQ. I mean I'm not sure that this only this will come obviously slight changes can be done and this type of question comes in the examination right. So a natural number which increased by 12 equals 160 times its reciprocal. So a natural number you don't know that natural number suppose that natural number is x when increased by 12. So that natural number when increased by 12 it is equal to 160 times its reciprocal. So reciprocal of x is what guys? It is 1 by x. So 160 times its reciprocal. So 160 upon x over here. I hope it is clear. So you see you just need to simplify it. If you cross multiply you will get x square plus 12x over here guys. If you take it over here and then minus uh, see 160 will go on this side. Is it clear? Any doubt in this thing guys? So how can we uh, simplify this guys? <clears throat> so for that you know that you have to do the prime factorization of uh, this thing over here right? or this is a simple value you know that 8 twos are 16 right and you know that 12 x can be written as 20 x minus 8 x right minus 160 that is equal to 0. So you take this is the first group this is the second group over here right. So out of the first group I can take x as common so x plus 20 will be left out of the second group I can take minus 8 as common so x plus 20 will, will be left so that is equal to 0. Now out of the whole expression in the left hand side, I can take x plus 20 as common. So I will be left with x minus 8 that is equal to 0. So you see two values of x which are possible over here are minus 20 and 8. But you see are both of these values is the correct answer? The question in the question it is written that it is a natural number. So therefore minus 20 is not a natural number so you will neglect this value. Therefore only x is equal to 8 is the answer to this question. I hope it is clear to you. Okay, so let us do one more word problem which can come in an MCQ question. So if the price of a book is reduced by 5, a person can buy 5 more books for 300. Find the original list price of the book. So you have to find the original list price of the book. See, so this you have to find just assume that the original list price of the book is rupees x. Just assume that the original list price of the book is rupees x. Now you see the uh, amount which the student is uh, spending over here is rupees 300. Now you see over here if you reduce the cost of the book the price of the book by 5. So obviously he or she can buy more number of books. So initially he or she was able to buy only 300 upon x number of books and now she is able he or she is able to buy 5 more books. See cost upon price of one book is the total number of books over here cost upon price of one book is the total number of books over here this is the new number of books this is the old number of books and it is five more now it is five more so this will be the quadratic equation over here guys i hope it is clear <clears throat> now this is the quadratic equation just simplify so this will give you 300 x minus 300 into x plus 5 3 is a 1500 over here and in the denominator you will get x square minus 5x and that is equal to 5. So you see this will get cancelled out guys over here. If you cross multiply what will you get? You will get x square minus 5x and that is equal to 1500 by 5. So this is 300 right. So the stand, if you write it in the standard form of, the, of a quadratic equation you will get x square minus 5x minus 300 and that is equal to 0. 
So how will you simplify it? 15 twos are 30, you know that, and you want 300. So you can prime factorize it like this, not prime factorization, you can factorize, you can split the middle term like this, minus 20x plus 15x minus 300, and that is equal to zero over here. So you see, this is the first group, this is the second group over here. Out of the first group, you can take x as common. So x minus 20 will be left. Out of the second group, you can take 15 as common. So again, x minus 20 will be left and that is equal to zero. Now see the other part over here. So out of this whole thing, you can take x minus 20 as common guys. x minus 20 can be taken as common. So you'll be left with x plus 15, right? x plus 15. So the two values of x which are possible over here will be 20 comma minus 15. Now are both of these the answer? The answer is no because see it is the list price. It's, it can never be negative. So you'll neglect the negative value, right? Therefore the cost of each of the book, the initial cost of each of the book over here is rupees 20. I hope that is clear guys. So that's all we needed to do in MCQs in the chapter quadratic equations.